Hi everybody, welcome back to Master Flow Plumbing World Headquarters. Today we're going to actually do a demonstration in the shop uh, here on how to wrap Teflon tape around threads for plumbing needs. We're going to also talk about why you would want to use Teflon tape versus using pipe thread sealant. Uh, but before we begin today's demonstration, I'm going to ask you to go down below in the description box and read our full disclaimer. And while you're down there, can you please go ahead and click subscribe, like our videos, and comment if you have any comments. All right, let's begin. Okay, so today I'm going to be using two different kinds of Teflon tape here. Uh, we have our conventional kind right here that most people are used to seeing. It is a, just a, a white Teflon tape. It's actually quite thin and it tears very easily. So I'm just going to kind of show you there real quick. I usually just tear it off with my fingers, whatever length I want. We'll get to that and we'll use that in a moment. There's also this other kind that's just a little heavier. Uh, this is the kind that I actually use from day to day in my, in my plumbing job. Uh, so I'm going to actually use this. This is the, the stuff I recommend. You may not be able to find this, but uh, it's called Blue Monster. Uh, this stuff is actually just kind of a no-name. Uh, so whatever Teflon tape you have, we'll talk about the different techniques with it. All right, so why would you want to use Teflon tape? Well, in the plumbing world, anything that has threads and water flows through it, it's probably going to need Teflon tape or some type of a thread sealant on there. Uh, in the past, a lot of plumbers always used pipe sealant, uh, pipe thread sealant or what we always called pipe dope, which is a strange name for it, but that's what we always called it. Um, I guess they got that name because we would dope up the threads with the, uh, the pipe sealant. Uh, there are still some practical uses for that in the, in the world today, but um, and we'll talk about that maybe towards the end of the video. But for right now, I'm going to just basically show you, this is just a quarter inch pipe nipple. I made a brass right here, and I'm going to show you how to actually do the proper technique for wrapping Teflon tape. So what I always do is I always start with my roll like this. So like this, you're always going to wrap your Teflon tape clockwise. Never go counterclockwise because when you tighten this into another fitting, it tightens going clockwise, right? So if you wrap it counterclockwise, wrap your Teflon tape counterclockwise on there, you'll unwrap it as you thread it in there. So you don't want to do that. So as simple as this sounds, there are a lot of people out there that do not know the proper way to do this. I've seen two, you know, second year plumbing apprentices do it wrong. Uh, from time to time, I'll pick up the Teflon tape and piece of pipe, even after 30 years, sometimes I'll catch myself wrapping it the wrong way. So always picture yourself looking at the end of the thread, no matter where you're at, and you're always going to want to wrap it clockwise. And what I do is I always start by laying the tip of it on there like that. I use my thumb or whatever I have you know, available finger-wise, and I begin to wrap it on here. Now I start with holding down my thumb. Now the way I do things, I always try to overlap this outer edge Okay, trying to get like that right there. Now the reason for that is when the water turns on, water pressure is actually going to blow that little overlay right there. It's going to blow it right back into that first thread and actually kind of actually helps make that seal. All right, from there, I've got two full wraps on that at that point. Generally with this particular Teflon tape, this thicker stuff, you're only going to want about three to four wraps on there. So I'm going to go ahead and complete that third one and then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to give it a couple wraps right at the end. Now a pipe thread is tapered. So the more you tighten it, the bigger that thread gets. So in other words, right out here at the very end, that pipe thread is actually a smaller diameter than it is back here at this further point. Okay, so that is exactly the proper way to, to wrap Teflon tape on a thread. I'll show you with the white stuff here. You know, just show you it's no different. Uh, the only difference maybe is that since it's a little thinner, maybe you're gonna go four to five wraps. But I basically do the same technique. I just come right over here, I overlap it, and as I'm doing that, I'm actually pulling that tight right there and stretching it a little bit so it actually overlaps that edge, and sometimes take your finger and just tap it, get it on there. Okay, so there's my three. I'm going to go ahead and give it another three back here, and then I'm just going to go back across one more time and give it a fourth, four to five wraps all together. All right, so that's the two different kinds of Teflon tape. Now, we'll talk about one of the places you never use Teflon tape, or at least this type of Teflon tape. Never use it on gas piping. There is a special Teflon tape, it's usually yellow in color, that you can use for gas piping. Otherwise, don't ever use it. So I also promised you I'd talk about why you would want to use pipe thread sealant or pipe dope. Uh, so sometimes, you know, when you're, when you're tightening this, if this was going into a plastic fitting, and again, I, I told you that, you know, that thread is smaller at the beginning, then it gets bigger as you tighten it. Well, if you're going to put that into a female thread that's maybe made of plastic, the more you tighten it, the more pressure it puts on there. Well, Teflon tape makes that diameter just a tiny little bit bigger. So sometimes if you over-tighten that, you'll actually crack a fitting going into it. 
So pipe thread sealing is good in that application. Uh, a lot of times I actually will go ahead and use both. I'll use Teflon tape and pipe thread sealant or pipe dope. And I'll go ahead and put my Teflon tape on first. And then I'll go ahead and put a little pipe thread sealant, pipe thread sealant on there, excuse me. And, uh, and then I'll go ahead and put my, my plumbing project together from there. That's basically it. Uh, as simple as it sounds, like I said, it's uh, not always that easy for people to actually grasp the concept of just wrapping that clockwise. I almost feel silly telling some people this, but there are a lot of people that actually don't do this for a living that can appreciate this information. That's pretty much it. Uh, go ahead and click the subscribe button and like this video and comment down below, and we'll see you next time.